this is my photo essay presentation. I decided to do it on motivational leadership as a manager. Uh, these are 10, 10 things that I'm going to go over that I think are very important to be a motivational leader. And I will start with the first one. And the first one is going to be energizing your team. This is really important in the workplace. Um, you don't want to be the type of leader that takes energy away from employees. You want to give them energy by giving positive by being positive and bringing good vibes to help employees strive to work even better and ultimately to make them more productive and to have a successful team. Uh, number two, I'm gonna go with, you gotta put your people first. Sometimes, I know you always wanna put yourself first, but in the workplace it's very important, especially as a motivational leader, to put your people first. If you do this, you have, um, there's no need to put yourself first because you already you're already the manager. There's no need to to be thinking that you can uh, be higher than anyone else because you're already there. So when you're here already, you got to put your employees first so they can be more productive. Putting them first shows how much you truly care about them and makes them respect you for that. So I think that's really important. And I'm gonna go on with the third one, which will be you always have to be honest. You can't be a dishonest manager. If you want to be respected, you have to be honest. There's no worse thing, no worse thing than being lied to. And as a leader, you must always be honest. This is how you gain respect and trust from all your employees, which is the most important thing in the workplace. Showing your employees that you have integrity helps create pride in your own organization, which is good in the workplace. I also like this picture because it shows how these three guys are just, you know, wandering off, thinking like, well, you know, you're really lying to us this whole time, and the bosses are screaming to him. You don't want to be that person. So this is why I really chose this picture, because I, I really wouldn't want to be that, that guy in the picture. Uh, number four would be, you have to... You have to be a good communicator. If you're not communicating, you're not getting things through your employees, and that's bad. So as a leader, you must set the best examples possible, and the best one is to start with communication. Communicating with your employees is crucial for a successful company. Communication in a company is the foundation that can make you or break you. If you're com communicating with your employees frequently with detail, you, have a great, you will have a great company and great employees just because of that. This is really important. And here in the picture, I like this picture here because you see the, the two people here arguing. It sounds like they're arguing, but they're really communicating with being loud with each other. And that's why I feel it's important in the workplace. Number five, you have to be a good listener. I, I really like this picture. You see the two little kids here. I never actually tried this. I don't know if it works, but I thought it was funny how she's actually listening and he's, he's actually talking and they're actually listening to each other. So in the workplace, it's really important because another part of great communication is listening. As a leader, you must listen to everything your employees tell you. Show eye contact to show that you're interested in listening to everything they're saying. This shows full respect also, which is really important. Um, and then I'm going to move on to the next one, which will be... You, you got to lead through experience, not position. And this is really important in the workplace as well. Sometimes as a leader, you must show examples of your past experience to help guide employees to the right direction. Just because you're a manager doesn't mean you have to boss people around, help your employees when they need, you have to help employees when they need you. And the best way to do that is by showing them experiences you already been through. And um, as a manager, that is really important and you should do that all the time. Not, not just think that you're the manager and you can just boss people around. You gotta show examples by showing your past experiences. And if you do that, the, the employees will really respect you for that because they rather hear about your experiences than you just telling them and um, you just bossing them around. And I chose this picture because it's, uh, he's going up in a different position. He's not staying in the same position. Everyone's following him. So I really like this picture for that. It shows that he's really active. He's not in the same position just telling them what to do. He's actually trying to guide them somewhere else by his, with his past experiences, which is why I chose that picture. Now the next one is going to be, you got to be a problem solver. Here in the workplace, you're going you come, you, you're gonna have a lot of problems. The main reason is because, you know, it's a really diverse place and everyone has different mindsets. 
So uh, this is, you really need to deal with a lot of problems here, but the um, but by being a problem solver, you could help employees do the same. So maybe later on, you know, you help them with the problem, and then they can help you, or even help someone else. So that really helps other employees when you're a problem solver, and it's really important as a motivational leader. And I chose the Rubik's cube because I feel like it's really complicated, but once you get it, you can probably help someone now get it. So. That's why I chose the Rubik's Crew. And number eight is going to be, there's more to life than just work. Um, as a leader, you must show how to balance everything out between life and work. Uh, this is a key for success. You cannot let a bad day outside of work um, really be the motivator in, at work as well. So if you're having a bad day at home, you can't bring it into the workplace because they'll mess everyone up. You want to have, you want to change the the whole vibe and actually have a good vibe so to help the workers be productive and um, furthermore more, uh, have more productivity in the workplace. Um, you must be able to also understand other employees going through stuff. It might be hard for them to actually be working when they're going through stuff outside of work. But as a motivational leader, you must show that you are at work and you can, you can um, help them out by uh, you know, being there for them. And um, that's what you can do as a motivational leader manager is be there for them when they're going through hard times during work. And I chose this picture because I like the elephant, how he's standing on the ball. I think it's a really funny picture and it really shows that the key is to balance things out. So I think that's really important. Okay, the next one is going to be uh, number nine, which is uh, lead by action. Uh, by leading by action, you can be a manager who just talks or you can be a manager who just um, who actually shows by action. If you want to be a successful leader, you must be able to lead through action. Um, this earns respect from employees because they see that you're not all about talk, that you actually do things, and they respect that. They, they don't want a manager that just talks. That, that actually annoys them, and, and um, you won't have as much productivity if you're actually uh, demonstrating action like, uh, like you should as a motivational leader. So um, I chose Superman because he does a lot of, you know, superhero things when he's going through. Um, he has to fight a lot of obstacles, but he shows action. You know, he doesn't just talk, he actually does it. And uh, that's why I chose Superman. And uh, number 10, the last one here, it's going to be, you have to be a role model. If you do everything I was telling you prior to this, you will be a role, you, you will actually be a role model to other people in the workplace. Um, being a motivational leader not only helps in the workplace, but also outside. So you can help people not just here when they're working, but it'll actually help them out once they uh, leave the workplace. They'll be a better person outside. You know, they'll learn things from you that they can use outside of work. And I feel like that's really important as well. They will respect you more for that because they might come back later and say, hey, thank you, you know, you helped me go through this. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm doing things differently outside of work too, and it's working out better for me. I'm becoming more successful. And that's what you want in the workplace. If you can motivate other people to be greater than what they think they can be, that will help them work harder, and it will increase productivity. And that's the most important thing in work. And this is why being a motivational leader is really important. And um, I chose Steven Jobs because it's crazy how what he did with Apple. Just bringing them up from a little company to what he made them before he passed away. But um, he did great things and it just shows you that you can go as far as you want. And especially as a motivational leader, you can go as far as you want. And you can make other people think the same way. And it will help them. And it will help you as well to have a good company at the end. And that's my presentation. Thank you.